my god. Hotels. Caramel creams in infinite supply for no charge. After a while, the retail changes. It's true. We came to this very building complex. We did. The edit hole curtain and bath outlet. And now it's a Bob's Furniture. That's right. You can see where the old sidewalk ended and then they expanded it and made it larger and gave it a whole new exterior. The only time I've ever been in one was actually, we used to go out to computer fairs in Warwick, Rhode Island, and there was a Bob's Furniture next to the Boston Market down there, but it was a Bob's Furniture closeout warehouse. This is a real Bob's Furniture. You can go in and order it and then they deliver it. I remember one that was like a Bob's. Oh, oh that's not... a different store. It's just Bob's. It should also be said that the current and bath outlet is still open. It it's, is. It's relocated. They move. Ann Hope owns this whole plaza, even though there used to be an Ann Hope there many years ago, closed in 2000. When we're done in Bob's, we should take a quick swing around the new location of the Ann sure. Hope. I, I think it's, it. it's way, way smaller. Well, let's take a look and see what they got. All right. We have different set packages over here. Uh, we have individual pieces with their dimensions. This is pretty much what I'm going for, like a corner piece sectional and then a chaise lounge on the end. But and this one is huge. This would never fit here. Yeah, we have like 10 feet by 10 feet. Look at all these options. A lot of this furniture is way too modern for me. I don't know who this style appeals to. This is like my sister 15 years ago would like this, <laughs> you know? Is furniture boring? Nobody likes to shop for furniture. I must say, I do quite like the styling of this, even though the materials are lousy. Very opulent. It looks like a real masculine, like, hunting lodge. It does. Burt Reynolds spread out on a shag carpet. Rock and this isn't Ikea. This is like no, real This is real furniture. furniture. This is the same quality you get at any good quality furniture chain. Like around here we have Cardi's, Jordan's. I bought my chairs in my living room at Lazy Boy because I think Lazy Boy makes the best stuff. They're the best warranties. They still make excellent quality recliners. They kind of yeah. kicked Barca Lounge. Yeah, I don't even, I haven't heard of Barca Lounge in years. You're welcome. This is how I keep my bed now, it's all white. Oh, so that's so attractive, but I just feel like I would sweat this thing up and it would be all stained and nasty. It'd be yeah, yellow it's not before long. that bad, especially if you get a bed jet. Bed jet, bed jet, bed jet. <laughs> I love my bed jet. All it is, is it's basically just a fancy fan. It has a little hose you stick under the edge of the bed and it has like it pushes air in it doesn't cool but you could do from room temperature up to 104 degrees the white just sort of evokes hotel doesn't it it does i kind of like how it brightens the room you know mm -hmm. as much as i like that it's very dark but we have septic systems in westport so we can't really use bleach right like you're going to kill off all the good bacteria in your septic yeah so but keeping you it white is tough. bleach alternatives they work pretty well we this can't is... fit furniture like this into our bedroom this very nice it's like antique style desk this <laughs> ear of corn Oh, I'm so bored. This is roughly approaching a granny square. Yeah. And it's available at retail. Savers was my leading source. Furniture shopping is a lot like car shopping. You get a cost of at the door. You spend a lot of time like at like an old Optiplex Dell. This is a really cool lamp. I like this a lot. But the scale is massive. You would need a 16 by 20 room minimal. Because they sell big houses now. Yeah. Because I sometimes I'll look at these giant houses and I'll think, how the hell would you furnish it? Yeah. Like that alone is going to furnish be... it with things like this. This this. I mean, this is not that expensive. This is a thousand dollars and it's comfortable. It doesn't last forever. You may not even use the room it's in. I mean, I see that so many times. People will furnish like a downstairs room and then never use it. Gloria. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't you want a cupcake painting in your room on canvas? There's a, a trend going on, and I've seen a few of them now. These chairs that are beyond junk size. Oh. Like. <laughs> this guy doing a dramatic demonstration of jumping. See if I can, it doesn't seem quite no. wide enough for no. a love seat. It doesn't look like it's made for two. No. I mean, I, I fit a glow here. We're going to have a joint the glow. Hi. Hey, get in there, glow. There's another one sort of similar. Yeah, I kind of dig the soft leather, but I don't know if it's actually leather. But again, the scale, my, there's no way I could fit it in my house. I have to, like, get rid of the couch. The couch is the only place this could fit. Yeah. Who's this? That's pretty cool. Who? Who? It's an owl. A who owl? The song playing here is Jazz Man which I only know from the Simpsons episode. Oh, really? This is like my rug at home, only this one's pretty valuable, probably worse, but it's carved. Let me tell you, that's a pain in the ass to vacuum. Just don't do it. Well, I was meaning to ask you. Yeah. How did the vacuum turn out? You bought it? Oh, that's a question for Nina. That's a Nina question? <laughs> this is a great vacuum, Nina. You would not be displeased. Why is he trying to sell me a vacuum? And I think the fans would like to know too. How did the vacuum work out? Oh, great. It's a little bit too much machine for me. You mean so Jun over-engineered something? So it like goes off. <laughs> like on its own. And again, I have a small house, so I don't need to like traverse an oh, entire room. I know what she's talking about. There, it, 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 has, it has a self-guiding. She finds that like disconcerting. There's a switch on the handle you can, you can, you just can turn use to just reduce that or turn it off completely. I don't want to interrupt their conversation, but John just ran into somebody he knows from his personal life, I think. Yeah. Nice. 
he works with me at Anime Boston. Oh, cool. Does he know anything about the content? <laughs> no, nothing at all. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> How do you feel about like industrial style like cabinets and stuff? I kind of dig them. Yeah. Again, I don't have a house in which they would be, make any sense. They're like train wheels. But what are you gonna pay for it? Two forty nine. Yeah. It's, it's expensive, but not that bad. It seems to be like an infinity couch. Yes. It's perfect for, like, we put you there, and then we sort of sit on the sides. Yes. Yeah, we could do a big press interview here. Do, like, built-in cup holders. I do, but those seem a little weirdly low, don't they? It's on Craigslist for free before you know Yeah, it. you can go on Craigslist and actually get a lot of really nice-looking furniture for almost nothing. You can't resell furniture. You can't resell furniture. Well, cause, it's because people are freaked out by what people might do on the couches, you know. Uh, understandably so. Someone lived if in this. sat yeah. there without their underwear on. I mean, butt on a couch. This is, in our area, you cannot sell used mattresses. It's against the law. Oh, really? Just as a public health thing? Yeah, it's a public health thing. It's a cool little cafe. I guess you could just come to Bob's Discount Furniture and, like, do your homework. Free ice cream? Free candy? Yeah. Free cookies? Do you want a cookie for you? Oh, my God. Hotels. Caramel creams in infinite supply for no charge. Well, can I piece of cookie? How's that cookie? How's that cookie? I like that they have constant propaganda about Bob. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess furniture stores have always had this. Like, have a coffee, have a water, have a thing. Oh, yeah. I guess they want you to get lost in the place. It's like a casino. Yeah. This really just has beds and living room furniture. Yeah. There's a lot it's of limited. furniture areas that are not covered. Well, I kind of like this one. I don't know why. Yeah, I sort of do, too. I would fear that because it doesn't go into the corner yeah. very flush, that it would waste it space. It actually is up a lot more space. Yeah. This is the full leather section. Full leather. I think it's just sticky and kind of uncomfortable. I agree, especially in yeah. the summertime. Yeah, we both have good AC systems now, so it's not as much of a concern, but right, still. Right, I'll vote for microfiber when the time is right. Yes, um, microfiber is great. We want to be able to clean it. Yeah, uh, and plus maybe someday you get a pet, yeah, and the exactly. pets will be resistant to that too. They exactly. won't want to claw it. Or... Babies and pets, go, yeah. go microfiber. Babies and, and babies and pets. And babies and pets and babies and pets. They have a few dining tables. I do say the prices are pretty good here. They are very good. They're actually very reasonable. And it looks very nice quality. This enormous uh, dining room set yeah. is seven ninety nine. dollars What? It's an everyday price, too. Seven-piece counter set. Although, how do you feel about counter height? You, you, every time you've gone to a restaurant with me, low-top chairs. Yeah, I'm with you. I hate sitting up. My workplace has a cafeteria. Yep. And, like, probably 70% is high-top. Yeah. And I'm, I'm just upset about it. But you know what my biggest problem is with high-top? Is that once I'm in the chair, I can't scooch forward. No, yeah, that's that's one of my main issues. How do most people solve that problem? Are they so tall that they, they can sort of reach their feet down to scooch in? This seems like a, a problem that Nina could help us with, but she's off dealing with a glow. Because Nina, you know, is is a thinner person than us. Maybe there's a secret I'm to I'm not eat. sure that it has anything to do with fatness. It, 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 my problem, anyway. Yeah. You're in the chair and you need yeah. to scooch forward. Yeah. How do you get it done? I get out of the chair and push the chair closer to the table. And then you like, you and climb, then you squeeze. You oh, so it is about being fat because we can't squeeze between the chair and the table. Yeah, it's just stupid. Yeah, it's just stupid. A little above normal height. I like the styling a lot. It's you really like this cool. sort of marble thing? Yeah, um, I think it's plastic actually. Uh, Go glow. What do you think of that enormous lamp? Whoa! Imagine the scale of the room you would need to make that lamp make sense. <laughs> and it's not really emitting that much light. It's like two bulbs in it. Yeah. Two little bulbs. Bobs? I thought it was pretty good. Really? I thought the prices were reasonable. I think if I needed to fill a secondary space I wasn't going to use as much, I would shop here. Otherwise, I'd probably shop at more, like, Lazy Boy. Like I said, I think you'd have to go in, basically tell them what you were looking for. Yeah. Get shown something that would work for you, and then talk to them about customizing, like, the fabric and the oh, shape. they definitely there's, could do all There's that. just so many options that yeah. you really can't just go in and buy what you see, necessarily. Yeah. You got to work with a rep. Let's check out and help see what in there. So now it's located uh, next to the Christmas tree shop. Which we've, done. Lows, which we've done. Yep, we're picking off this whole plaza. <laughs> and yeah, it took the place of an H&R block. And a few other things that used to be here that I don't remember. That was where the door was, the Inn and Hope, right there. It filled the whole area. It was a bigger store than Lowe's. This somehow seems familiar. Carrying that anymore because uh, it has very much the same feel. It does feel a little bit scaled down. Yeah. But maybe like a three-quarter scale. But they still have the same classic Inn and Hope. Set up for curtains so you can see how they look on windows. The style is appealing towards a little bit older set, I think. She thinks she's unemployed everywhere we go. This is clearly a trend in this industry. For there to be this many pillows. You want to freshen up your couch? I could put these two on my couch. They actually look really nice. 15 bucks. Not bad for a little style change. I am personally of the mindset that more variety makes it harder to choose. And I do kind of dig these, but pillows are actually annoying on couches. You know, they just get in the way. They range from $319 to $23.99.
Wow, so 319 pretty, would be a cheap pillow. I was just wondering if they still had the big rugs display. I love being able to see the whole rug oh, on, the, nice. on the display. And you can totally swing it open. I think it's gone. I think it was part of the downsizing. Another cultural yes, staple dead. Not many rugs in the curtains or the baths. Right, right. Except for the bath rugs, which they have a huge selection of, including that one that says, you look good. <laughs> I've actually, what I've wanted to do, and I've looked into this, is a custom sized one. Hi. <laughs> you can cover most of like from the shower and the toilet in one rug. Oh, there's only one company that makes them and they wouldn't respond to my emails. You get your, your selection of... Oh, cuckoo. 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 Show me the cuckoo. Oh, she sees a clock. Oh dear. At the last location too, they have a huge selection of curtain rods. Yes, which is actually a useful thing. Lots and lots of curtain rods. Look at the selection of curtain rods. You can order them online, but if you want to see what they actually look like and the sizing. Then you're like, you got the wrong one, ship it back. I never return it. I've only no. like wanted to return things a couple times. Yeah. I've returned things out of spite when they arrived damaged, that's it. These are like blackout curtains, but they just remind mm. me of big theater curtains or that heavy Ooh. I like the color. cranberry the texture. Tonight I dream. Tomorrow I do. I like big mutts and I cannot lie. Mm -hmm. I kind of want one more pun in that. Like I like big mutts and I cannot. Thigh, I don't know. Yeah, something. I like these K's. Maybe keep the K's away from each other. <laughs> Because there is a third one. There is a, there's a fourth one down there. <laughs> These three are like somewhat too close together. You're never too old to play outside. A lot of platitudes in this place. <laughs> oh, Gloria likes it. Goodbye. You're never too old to steal the sign. <laughs> Why are the sales reps always dressed as like... Um, bakers? Oh. And bakers. That's just a, another element copied over from the original Anne Hope. Everybody wore those smocks. Would you ever go back into Anne Hope curtain? Maybe. Hope? I'm probably not, but maybe. I'm glad that the realtors are like, there's always going to be some kind of Anne and Hope brand yeah. in this plaza. And sometime Frankie, we got to make the trip out to Pawtucket to, to, to go to the saddest apex ever before yeah. it disappears. We're going to make it happen. we got to make it happen. We'll see you next time.